Oh, I wish this wall wasn't like that. I would love to just get a, a good turn in here. I'm going for it. While Tuckerman Ravine and the Presidential Range may be better known for backcountry skiing in the White Mountains, that's not the only skiing to be had in this range. Violent landslides that have torn out trees and rocks in drainage gullies, fill in with snow on deep years, and become excellent shoots to ski. And while they don't benefit from the wind loading that helps form the gullies in the Presidential Range, their sheltered location below tree line preserves the powder, making it possible to ski steep and deep powder in the right conditions. This past two weeks, deep snow has provided me the opportunity to ski three incredible, classic White Mountain slides. This is the story. All right, today I'm headed out to Greeley Pond Slide to go ski a couple of laps. I just got some beta that it was in really good shape and it's a beautiful sunny day. Some nice dense pow out here. So I'm gonna go see what it's all about. Getting up the slide here. I'm in the meat of it now. Two people just dropped in on me from above and they looked like they were having a pretty good time. So, despite it being a little bit breakable crust, seems like it, woo! Look at that. <laughs> Found some blue ice. Seems like it could just be a zipper crust. We'll find out. Couldn't boot pack, so I had to do Maybe 100, 150 kick turns so far. Oh, but we're almost there. That was epic. What a freaking day. A little bit breakable crust, but for the most part, it skied awesome. Had a little bit of an adventure on the way out, but luckily made it back here. Slide season is officially on. With another foot of snow falling since I skied Greeley Pond Slide, Roger, Nate, and I decided it was time to check out a slide I've been looking at for a long time, Aero Slide. It 
There's the slide. Let's do this thing. You're almost there. popped off and you went all the way into this little river. Oh god, you're making me nervous now. <laughs> My tail's wedged. Okay, it happened. We did. With the deep snowpack and the avalanche conditions starting to settle out, Brett and I decided to check out Landslide Gully, a 2,000 foot couloir that rarely ever forms. Even with all the new snow, the approach was more brutal than either of us imagined, but we knew every step was worth it. It took four years, and but and four hours and four hours, yeah. but I finally got Good another shit, dude. line. Nice work. There was 2019, and then here's wow. 2023. That's that was actually like some of the best skiing I've done in this range. That that was that was the best skiing I've ever done in my life. Because <sighs> like I've just never skied even like that. So. It, it's it's crazy because I remember in a Ski the Yeast film that came out in like 2015. Yep. I saw this line before I even know where it was and that it, it has captivated my mind for like the entirety of like my teenage years and adulthood until I was able to put a track through it. Dude I've, I've been looking at this every time I've driven in Crawford for the past however many years I've been coming out yeah. here and I've never been up I've never hiked Webster which I'm going to do this year because uh -huh. it's, it looks really fun. It's a cool man. I've just been eyeing all these up and like I, I never in a million years imagined I would ski one of them before I ski <laughs> Like, never. Yeah. What a pleasant fucking surprise. Well, 
There's plenty more of that. We'll do them all, man. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah.